We're speaking with Russell Tyner, who's the CEO of Baptist Health, and recently Thompson Reuters ranked Baptist Health one of the top 15 health systems in the country and the only one in the state of Alabama that was recognized. First of all, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you, JT. Tell me a little bit about the plans and procedures that Baptist Health put into place several years ago to make that possible. Well, the, what you see here, the simulation center is one of those things. Uh, four or five years ago, we began dabbling in the simulation arena, at, uh, something that we learned from uh, our friends in the aviation industry, particularly those in, in the Air Force and around Montgomery. Uh, the simulation uh, picked up very quickly in healthcare, and we were sort of on the cutting edge of that out front, but we learned very quickly also that simulation in and of itself was, uh, was useful but you had to put that curriculum in place too. So we laid out on top of that something we call smart training that's a, a combination of aviation safety techniques and clinical safety techniques. That smart training we were able to, with our partners at Auburn University brand and actually have Raytheon utilizing now nationwide. Wow, absolutely incredible, the technology. I mean, you just walk in the room, you can see that you guys are cutting edge and that's sort of what it takes to qualify to be one of the top 15 health systems in the country. I mean, tell me a little bit about how that process works and how Baptist Health was recognized. Well, the technology is incredibly important. I think one of those things for, for Baptist Health and for Montgomery and the River region in general has been that we've been able to attract and retain some of the brightest in, in the healthcare industry. You know, it takes, it's an uncommon collection of very intelligent, very capable professionals. Uh, Montgomery is one of those destinations where if you can get people here to take a look uh, and make this their home, uh, they usually will want to stay. And uh, we've been very, very, fortunate to keep not only a, a number of medical professionals who are from this area here after their training, but also to attract some people from all over the country. You have to have a wonderful team, but you also have to have the technology as well. And neither is going to work well in and of itself. Absolutely. Well, congratulations once Thank again. You Thank you very much for taking a moment to that. talk to us. And we're going to turn things over to Leanne, who's going to get an in-depth look at exactly what happens right here with Baptist Health. Okay. Well, here we are in the simulation lab with Carla and it is amazing the things that they can do in here and teach. So tell our viewers who you do teach because that's what this is all about is teaching and learning. Okay. We teach a variety of healthcare professionals. We actually begin with school. Uh, we have juniors that come to us from Jeff Davis High School for the Healthcare Career Academy. We also have nursing students from nine area schools of nursing that come here for training. We teach EMTs, the paramedics. We teach uh, pharmacists, medical students, medical residents, uh, medical doctors, and uh, just a variety of uh, healthcare learners that come through the center here. Now, when JT and I toured earlier, there's so many different things and so many of these folks right here, and they can do anything, these simulation um, people just they breathe they can have heart attacks I mean there's just nothing that you can't program that's right um, these are called human patient simulators and uh, it is really great to use these uh, this way our healthcare professionals actually learn in a safe and ethical environment uh, where if uh, something goes wrong with the mannequin that they can practice over and over again how to really work uh, with that patient and actually practice till it's perfect, as perfect as you can get. So our big mission here is to reduce medical error and uh, that's one of the uh, things that has been really valuable about that. We've actually trained over 3,000 of our healthcare professionals here at the Simulation Center and uh, we do a lot of training with medical resource team training, uh, which you heard Russ speak about mm -hmm. earlier, the SMART training, where we be bring uh, healthcare professionals from different areas into the center and do not only clinical training, but communication training. Well, this has been eye-opening and amazing. For more information, you can check out riverregion.tv, and if you'd like to get trained, the information is there.